Hello there, scrumptious. You're going to sit down and enjoy crypto's juiciest news. I mogged myself. How did I mog myself? I recorded 40 minutes of crypto's juiciest news. And upon my computer restart, for some reason, never happened before, it decides to mute the microphone and I have to redo it. So we're going to go again. I'm doing another 40 minutes for you. That's right. We're going to look at first what everybody's been going mad about. This is the other's chart, friend. So Bitcoin, it's tumbling down, but I want to wanna just give you some confidence here. This type of chart going down, they don't do this. They never do that, okay? I, I always pray they do that. About one out of 100 altcoins do that, one out of 100. This is the, just, this is what we have to sit through. We have to sit through this like choppy, chop, chop, chop period. Just call it, it's called forming a base pretty much. This period though, it's funny, our prices are higher than when we were in August, but the sentiment is really, really, really getting drained out. And we're still waiting for that US election resolution, of course, which is coming right up. But that's pretty much what's been going on. Everyone has been getting drained out. As promised, I will now tweak my nipples to show you how confident I am of a victory. And we are going to be mogging all the non-believers. Now, if I show you the Bitcoin price chart, it will pretty much just show you what everyone's uh, feeling right now. This weekly candle for Bitcoin has done this big, big, big fat giant wick and it's got everybody concerned right now. But it doesn't have to be that way, friends, because look, man, if you're trying to play off these weekly candles and this weird stuff going on here, you just got to hold with time. And then eventually we will pump. I know it sounds like magical woo-woo fairy dust, but it's true, man. I would now want to show you the other's BTC, which is still bonked. By the way, friends, it is bonked. Let's zoom in. Look at this. It is absolutely bonked. Others going down. This is pretty much friends. It's confirming. Um, it's confirming the altcoin dispersion thing that's been going on here. Altcoin dispersion. It's showing you that it's one of the most hated cycles ever. So all the boomer coins, the stuff that people don't understand and the stuff that people don't get, they are lagging behind. And as I've shown you, friends, one of my latest videos. Okay, it is. This is this is critical to watch. And I, yeah, all my videos are critical to watch. This one in particular. Just in, meme coins grew to 13.8% of the altcoin market. Urgent. I actually wrote urgent on it. Why? Why is this important? It's because memes, as a, as a, on top of the, in terms of a, a dominance of the altcoins, they were around 8% earlier this year. <clears throat> in this year, so they grew to around 8%. So as the rest of the market's been capitulating and selling off and dying off and bleeding and losing people with Bitcoin. Uh, meme coins went up again. Explain that. How is the meme coin speculation part? How come it's now going for round three? Okay, this is important. Also, I've just noticed I hit 4,000 videos just now. Wow, this is absolutely amazing. We finally did it, friends. We finally did it, 4,000. And if our bags aren't at the price targets, I'm going to make 4,000 more. That's right. Everybody else out there is getting mogged. I have a state-of-the-art panda bear disguise friends because that's what we're here we're here to we're here to think like the bears so we know how to dominate them i would also like to show you this bitcoin channel this is the daily chart of the bitcoin channel it did the whole classic go up come back down to retest it's actually doing the retest perfectly that's actually funny it's actually funny it might actually just start popping up but yeah, there's a lot of things we got to go through today friends in terms of the news so firstly you, you already noticed okay the market sentiment everyone's like now full-on anxious Full on anxious. And actually, to, to summarize this, I just, I'm going to show you this Telegram chat message I have that came from my Telegram. So I, I really advise you to come join in, come have fun. This screenshot, I, I took it. It just, it perfectly summarizes everything. Firstly, we have Gale with a mog. Okay, we just start off with a mog. That's it. Mog. <laughs> That's the best part. The next immediate reply is from Mr. Boss Peppy. Ben Copen is calling for a $1,000 Ethereum by the end of December. So, Hey, by the way, friends, if Ethereum drops 40%, which is what it's calling for from here, or, or even more, altcoins, 40, let's say it's, just, it's dropping 50 or 60%, altcoins would drop 80%. So it's basically that's what it's calling for out here. I'm just showing you um, what, what the sentiment is like. La, uh, a, a comment from Johnny here. Got to say, I'm pretty worried about altcoins at this stage. So it just perfectly summarizes all of it. So we start off with a mog, and then we're like, oh, we're actually pretty worried. So... Um, don't worry, man. It's all playing out fine. I mean, I tweak my nipples for you, friends. I only do that when I'm very confident. And look, man, everything. Just remember these glasses, by the way. Remember these glasses, friends. There are... Look at all the memes, friends. We have 
we have the poker center we have i've got my hat here make memes great again just so much amazing things are happening the official donald trump campaign used the term mogged okay and if i didn't read this out to you now you wouldn't believe it look at this the trump war room they have 2.2 million followers mogged man i wouldn't be surprised if they're watching me by the way shout out to everybody out there out there I couldn't believe it. <clears throat> it started off as a meme, bro. It's a meme. See, <clears throat> they did not say, hey, layer zero technology with restaking and Igon layer. That's going to be great. Look at all the blobs. No, they did not say that. They just wrote mogged. Mogged. Okay. That's it. I'm telling you, man. Altcoins, friends, meme coins are the new altcoins. That's it. Mog is a coin on Ethereum on Pulse Chain. Remember, it's tokenized victory. That's what it is. It's tokenized victory. It's just, it's so fitted for Pulse Chain friends, okay? Strongest cult in crypto. Priced like a celebrity meme coin. It's actually a neo religion. And look, I'm just going to, I'm going to show you the MOG chart, MOG on Pulse Chain. And I'm going to tell you just to be careful for two reasons, the upside and the downside, okay? Um, this is the MOG on Ethereum, okay? So MOG on Pulse Chain. It's around three, four million market cap. Now, here, here's the thing, friends. When I say be careful, you already know the, oh, yeah, be careful in case it drops, uh, like, 70% and then you have to accumulate again. Yeah, be careful of that. But it's a bull market now, man. I'm also saying be careful because you might just get this move, okay, which happens to it. You might get this move, the SPX move. The, you think it's over. Look, let's put all this on a daily. You think it's over. Like, oh, crap, we're st stopping here, right? Look at this. Oh, that's a big move. And then it goes up another 50% and then another 60% and then another 60% and then another 60%. Oh my gosh, keeps going and going and going. That's a total 100x move. It literally does a 100x move pretty much, okay? A 90x move from the bottom. So <clears throat> that, that's what is happening in a bull market. It's, it's what everyone comes for, yes? Uh, so how do you play these moves? Well, you just, you have to accept the volatility is extreme, but... It's the best part of the cycle. So, like, if you sit on your hands and you don't take these shots, then you have to also admit that if you miss it, there's no coming back. Like, you're done. You're done. Because if it comes back, the whole cycle's done. You get it? So, you have to decide that way yourself. So, look, something general you can do is split your clip into, like, five bullets. Yeah? Five bullets. So... You throw, let's say, let's say someone's going to put in a hundred bucks. Okay. That's one, one bullet. I, this is what I would do. Any coin. I throw in 20. Okay. Just throw in 20. And then if it drops like 60%, then you can do the next two pieces. You put in 40. Okay. And then after a long time period, if it hasn't reversed for a while and it's actually dropped more or it's just gone sideways for like another, like couple of weeks or a month, you can throw in the next uh, 60 so that's a one, two, three system. You see, so you're, you're compounding in. But also, if you throw in that one bullet, one out of five, they're, they're mini bullets, they're micro, okay, micro clips. If you throw one and then it keeps going, that's why I don't know what to do. No one knows what to do, man. It's, it's chaotic randomness, okay? I'm not just helping you with strategy here. But you can also tell, like, we've already won, man. Like, look at the strategy we're dealing with here. The, our strategy was we understand meme coins, the product market fit of them, and a lot of people don't, right? Now, I want to make you more bullish right now. Friends, Crapo is bearish. That's right. Let's actually play some Pumpy G music. That's right. Mr. Crapo is bearish. I've just sold some altcoins to reduce my exposure to the market, even if I was already covered with a hedge. If this scenario doesn't play out, there's no issue in re-entering positions. That is basically he's bitching out. He's bitching out. And this is fantastic. Crapo is bearish. Friends, I repeat, Crapo is bearish. And... Just to give you some history on these types of guys, just, just for everyone new out there. Um, you're talking about that this. Can you believe this actually happened? Look at this, please. So Crapo was bearish from here. He was bearish expecting this. Wrong, 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 wrong. Or the whole time, wrong, 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 wrong. He actually got bullish up here. We finally made him capitulate. So he, he got so much public shame whilst, I, public shame, but he was making money more. Why? His followers went from 67,000 on in Telegram, Telegram fit 67,000, up to 89,000, or probably has 100,000 now, because everyone just kept talking about him. See, network effects. Now, I told you, there's no such thing as bad publicity. Everything increases your network effect. 
And it's not, look, if you, friends, do you ever have nostalgia? Okay. Do you ever have nostalgia? Of course you have nostalgia. Like, oh, I used to play games over here. You said this person used to be my friend uh, many, many years ago. Oh, I used to watch this TV show. Oh, I went to the movies and it was amazing. Yeah. But nostalgia, you're, you forget how you feel. Your brain wants to remember good times. It's like it's a coping mechanism to basically so you don't have PTSD. Okay. When you have PTSD, you remember the feeling. You have so much trauma. When you go back, you actually remember the feeling. So we all have PTSD from the bear market. Everything is going down, down, down. If you don't take your profits down, okay? That's PTSD. But by default, that, that's actually trauma. You actually have trauma from this because the industry freaking takes so much from you, right? And also people who had like abuse or bad, bad, bad things happen to them, right? Like people get into a car accident and then like they're scared of like, you know, like hearing a car horn or whatever. Many things like this, especially people from war. They don't like hearing loud bangs. Well, you can, this actually relates to network effects and mind share. It does because if someone just keeps saying your name, even if they keep saying scam, 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 they keep saying your name over time, what happens is your name is in their mind. Okay. They can't remember how they felt about hearing the scam part. All they remember is that you're in their brain. This is very, very useful. This actually is the secret to crypto. <laughs> It is. It is a secret to crypto and mind share and network effects and getting attention. So we'll speak a bit more about that later. Now, I want to move on to Uncle Bobby, friends. So Uncle Bobby has put a doom scenario for Bitcoin, but says it's only 15% chance, okay? And everyone's acting like it's an 85% chance. So I have Uncle Bobby's post here. So first, let's look at Uncle Bobby's uh, his Bitcoin post. It's We actually go down to $27,000. This is a log chart. So it's interesting, okay? But look, uh, it's only 15% chance, but everyone's lost their minds because just like, but he's discussing it. And actually, there's some merit to this. I'll, just, I'll explain what he's basically talking about. Because Bitcoin has had a, it's it's now on its fourth cycle here, it introduces some issues. So w one of the most important things I'll actually tell you, uh, Uncle Bobby doesn't believe in the power law model, okay? So I'm going to type in power law model, your friend saw me. You can actually look up in YouTube, uh, sorry, on Google, type in, Power law model, your friend saw me right here. Actually, interesting. And I think this second one, this second one is one of my posts. This is actually the power law model. Okay, so like golly gee, wow, this thing just goes up and to the right. We're just going up forever. Okay, so that's interesting. But also, if we go back, I'm going to show you another one. This other post here. So it it just it's a new stock to flow. Okay, it's a new stock to flow. This is the band. Do you see how we are? One hundred forty-eight thousand dollars is the Bitcoin price chart. The top is five hundred thirty k. The bottom is like 52K. Now, everyone believes in the power law model, right? A lot of people, like Freddie Kroger, the Wall Street guy. Hey, 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 I'm the Wall Street guy. It's a power law model. Like, bro, you, you just, you know, just, 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 I'm not saying is the Wall Street guys are coming in now and now they're cheering on models that just go up and to the right. So it doesn't even matter the model, friends. When people are in, they look for reasons to stay long because they wanted these things to keep going up so much, okay? Now, where does the introduction of a problem come? The problem comes because we're now in cycle number four and Uncle Bobby believes we're going to have eventually a secular bull mar a bear market, secular bear market, which means it's a bear market then where it's a bear market where the bull never breaks the all-time high. okay? So it would be something like if we go up, okay, and we come back down, okay, we bottom out like normal, but then in the next bull, we can't actually break the all-time high. We can't. And then we come back down. And it's like, it, it turns out to be a big range. That's the secular bear market. That part, it's meant to be God, but you can't. Okay, so he believes it's either this one or the next one. Now, I think it could actually be the next one. Why? I know I'm just making this up. Why am I just saying this? Just, and obviously it's hopium. It is copium. It is hopium and copium. Because like, I'm just guessing. Like if it's a 16 year cycle, technically it should be this one. However... Um, in the next cycle, see, we're expecting maybe 600K. So it would be, it would make sense if the 600K one, why everyone's going for a million, but then that's the one that doesn't work out and that comes back again. Oh, now it's gone to a million. No, it's not. Okay. So that, that might be it. However, it just, it doesn't feel like if Bitcoin gets to 200K where the crypto industry is 10 trillion, it just, is that enough of a parabola? Maybe we'll find out. It depends. I guess we'll find out. But I'm going to read for you some of his comments as well. So 
He mentions, look, uh, this, this is the most important part. I'm just going to show you Uncle Bobby. He does make, we love Uncle Bobby. He does make a means of Lucky and the Giros. But he's just he's going to show you how, why, why I am the most contrarian of offense. Look at this. Um, he goes, to think that comes now versus later is the key question. In cycle theory, we place greater weight on what has been occurring versus what I am afraid might occur. Just like trend following, we place greater weight and trust on the current trend and then look for real signs of a trend. Okay. So it's it's that's subjective as well because I've shown you friends my video. Okay, well, there's a trend here. Meme coins, memes, cults, religions, that archetype has actually been trending up with mindshare and dominance. Okay, but okay, so, so it's easy to take this objective part. But look what he says. Okay. Um he goes. Some points to consider. Altcoins have been dead the entire cycle. Faith outside of money and Bitcoin in, in crypto being revolutionary is only believed by a core group now, meaning that the retail base is not growing and the use cases have not materialized. For Bitcoin, many will argue it doesn't care about crypto, but I think that's still very important in attracting new capital. So as you'll see, friends, everyone pretty much, what he was basically saying is, let me describe what he's saying. What he's saying is everyone is saying Bitcoin only as the dominance goes up. But when the dominance goes down, I will tell you now, they're all going to capitulate. Friends, just to let you know, like in 2022, a lot of you knew, you don't know this. In 2022, Alex, remember Celsius? Celsius, Alex Skaminsky, um, he did the Ponzi with Celsius and then pretty much all exploded well. One of the workers was a disgruntled worker. They realized they weren't getting paid and they lost all their money. So they leaked the database of all the customers. And everyone's full name, their accounts, their addresses, all the inventory of their coins, that was leaked in the bear market. In, they're basically in rage, okay, because the workers didn't even know it was a Ponzi, right? So what ended up happening was people checked all the names and it turns out many... Bitcoin maxi people were on the Celsius platform and you could see their portfolio and they had poop coins. They had Bitcoin, they had Ethereum, they had Chainlink. Yeah, they had, they had them, they had them. And you think, oh, what's the, what's the, what's the whole issue with that? Well, if you, we went to their Twitter and there was, there were these people with like large followers different, uh, just in the Bitcoin community. And they're saying Bitcoin is the only way, altcoins are all scams. Um, Bitcoin will keep uh, making the altcoins bleed. Bitcoin dominance is going up. Uh, these things are not fully decentralized. Therefore, they're all going to zero. They're all scared. All of these things. Okay. But they own the altcoins. Okay. They actually own them. We know actually from the real stats, how many people are actually just own Bitcoin. It's about 15 to 20% about them. So 80% of people who own Bitcoin own everything else. Okay. Just to show you, but you know that, but um they only get really loud as these Bitcoin dominance goes up, okay? But once these things turn around, it's kind of like, they don't watch the charts, bro. Like, do you know how scary it is to be turbo long up? Do you know how scary, man? You're like, you've been going on for such a long time. By the way, the weekly super trend hasn't flipped red yet. So technically, like, yes, you, you wait until the trend flips, but I'm, I'm just showing you the change of sentiment. So if we go back to Uncle Bobby here, okay? <clears throat> he basically says, look at this. New retail speculators are not asked to believe in anything revolutionary anymore, which makes onboarding difficult. We're reduced to the simplistic lowest form of speculation now, and it's come much sooner in the cycle than before. It's like betting on two flies on a wall. So what he's, Vince, what he's saying is, look, I'm just, I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you a comment I went, I went all the way down to the bottom and I found this gold comment. Look at this. Uncle Bob just posted a $26,000 Bitcoin target and pays money for JPEGs, LeMayo. It's true. It's true. I'm like, Uncle Bobby, come on, bro. Like, you, look, Uncle Bobby appreciates art. He's an art collector. He's got like millions of dollars of art, okay? And uh, he's got like half a million dollars just in, in NFT art, crypto art, okay? JPEGs. So if he appreciates that art, okay, why can't somebody appreciate a community? Why can't somebody appreciate a ticker, a logo? Why can't they appreciate it? Of course they can. Okay. If you can appreciate that, why can't people appreciate other things? Like girls appreciate the Louis Vuitton bag. Guys appreciate a Rolex watch. 
Yeah. Yeah. Um, they don't have all the utility in the world, by the way. They're just there to like, it's a feeling, it's a sensation. Okay. What about the communities, memes, cults, religions? Because these memes, friends, the stronger ones that become cults and religions, they are providing answers for a way of life. There's a spirituality fulfillment. You have a journey with your friends. There's ups and there's downs, the roller coaster. There's making of new friendships. Sometimes love relationships are formed. Okay. You have, for example, friends, you have Maddie Allen's two conferences for Hex and Pulse Chain every year. It's a gathering of everyone. They feel like they're part of something bigger. Okay. That makes it feel like they belong to a movement like that. You know? So we see it all the time, friends, with, with GME and all these other things. People do things just to feel like they belong. Okay. People even give to charity, like, oh, there's there's poor people dying out there. I'm gonna I wanna feel like I'm I'm helping. I'm part of the helpers group. You see that? So all we do all these things. And when we can identify these. Uh, the, the worst thing you can do is look at somebody else appreciating something and go, oh, that sucks. You shouldn't appreciate that, okay? It's like music artists. Well, let's say um, people don't like other other rappers. They're like, oh, why do you listen to that? That's junk. I don't like that music. It, see, see when, when, it, when you see it like in the, mu- in the music artists, it's, 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 um, it, it makes it, it makes it reduces it down to the simplest form. Okay, but then you can go a step further. It's like just tribal teams with jerseys. It's, oh, you were born on the other side of the pond and uh, therefore we hate you. Okay, and then the two soccer teams pretty much battle it out, and there's like all, all three, four, and five when they battle it out every time. You see what I mean? So these things, in a nutshell, it just it's helping you identify where there's value. That's it, because you can see people identify like a, a relationship somewhere, so that you know. Well, no, you never really know, but you just have higher odds that there is what we call like value creation there, or you could make an asset of a network effect. But it brings us now to what we're looking at now, because Uncle Bobby. And many others, friends, many others see meme coins as the final end of times rally. But I'm here to tell you, Bitcoin was a meme. Imagine, and by the way, you don't have to imagine this actually happened. Okay, let's actually go back and check the charts. Bitcoin in its early day. Bitcoin in its early day here, friends. Okay, uh, this is the chart of it. Okay, no one was looking at Bitcoin going a thousand bucks saying, oh, wow, this is... Um, this is definitely amazing for for the world, and this is a birth of a new asset. Like 2% of people are saying that, not even less. Everyone else is saying hyperinflation is coming. This is the end of times because this internet Ponzi trash currency, which is like used for drug laundering, is going up. That's what they were saying and how wrong they were. You get it? It was just a meme. It was, just a, it was actually a cult back then. It was just a cult rallying this part. This was the cult of Satoshi. Okay, so you had 2000. This was literally a cult of Satoshi stuff. Look what the cult was able to do, by the way. So you're seeing the similarities now. So I've got to remind you, right? Uncle Bobby's scenario where we go down 27,000, he even said there's like a 10, 15% chance. He goes, look, if this, if this post scared or triggered you, it's because you just don't want to believe your bags could fail. And that's a problem if you're not in quality. And then someone asks him, hey, what's quality? And obviously he says like basically Bitcoin, but I think they're wrong, man. No, I think I know. I know you're wrong. I mean, the data saying you're all wrong, but half half. Um, you're wrong in terms of. It's, it's just interesting, man. What is it, this is the funny part. Okay, what Uncle Bobby and the mainstream would consider quality is everything but meme coins. Okay. However, what's the data say? The data is saying meme coins have been holding up against the sell-offs of the rest of the crypto market. As I've shown you, the altcoin, the, the meme coin dominance fence went from 8% up to 138 I computed it manually. Okay, as everything's bleeding out, these things are holding up and gaining share. Okay, so if you have your own bias, you're going to lose because you're going to be picking privacy and all these other things. Friends, meme coins are 10 times bigger than privacy still. You know, I, I told you about that about 10 months ago. Not eight to nine, eight to nine months ago, it was like it shocked my mind. Meme coins, meme coins today are like sixty-six billion privacy. All the privacy in the world is only six billion. You see. So, in a nutshell, there is simply no technical analysis we can do that tells you what's coming next. So, I put this picture away. You know Kanye West, right? This is Kanye West. This is new, like Kim Kardashian look like. She always running around like literally half naked, dancing at a dinner table. Um, Whatever he's doing is working because, look, it, think about it. It makes its way to crypto memes. Think about that. Okay, He's doing something for Mindshare. It's working, man. It's working. 
And I know, you know, a, a lot of boomers, they don't like this world. They're like, oh, is the world going to be just like a world where everybody tries to get everybody's attention? And I'm saying, Habib, you've just mogged yourself. You are already living in that world. You grew up in that world. Everybody was trying to get your attention since, since the day you were born. You see, Rolex has been trying to get your attention. Hey, if you're successful, you wear a Rolex watch, okay? Everyone's trying to get your attention. For example, I'll use for you. Think I'm going to blow your mind on this, okay? <clears throat> when you go to dinner, let's say you go to dinner for a birthday, okay? Um, let's say you go into a fancy restaurant, <clears throat> whatever. Your friends, some friends got a birthday. Okay, why do you even wear? Why wear a collared shirt? If you're a lady, why do you wear like a nice dress? Who put that in your head? You don't need to. You don't need to at all. As you're a guy, you could wear a wife beater. And for a lady, you could wear a garbage bag. Just rock up in like a $3 garbage bag. Why do you actually wear those things? It's because you want to feel good. That's it. It's because you've seen so many movies, so many TV shows. You've seen other people go to these fancy places in expensive clothes where they pay more just to wear the clothes. So it's been conditioned in your head. It's the, it, so this act, this cultural thing has mind share in your head. Who put it in there, friends? Who put it in there? Think about it. Why do we even why do, we do these things? There's many things we do that's like that. For example, like, okay, when it's sunny, um, so when it's really sunny and hot in summer, why do we go get ice cream? We've got the ice cream in the cone. Why that? Why don't we go just literally lick an ice cube? Do you see, friends, there's a lot of these things that there's always like the, you know, like you're watching The Simpsons or you're watching all these TV shows and movies. There's always like, you know, the kid holding the ice cream, the ice cream falls down. It's such a common thing, right? It's just infused into our brains when you think of that stuff. And it's not even if you're doing it yourself. If I was to draw, if I was to ask you, hey, draw a picture of uh, of a really, really hot sunny day and kids and kids are by a swimming pool or whatever, kids, yeah, just kids hanging out at a birthday party. You would probably draw ice cream in there. I was going to remember it's really, really hot and they're sweaty. Like, oh, they're probably eating ice cream. You see how these things naturally just come in our head that we, we all relate to? Well, remember, in crypto, we have digital economies now. So people are putting in digital ideas and everyone's trying to infuse them as much as they can because it's, it's a gold rush. We're mining stuff. Basically, that's what we're doing. We're mining stuff, but it's a new proof of work. It's not just doing mathematical code numbers because anybody can just do that. That was a Bitcoin invention. Now everyone's doing like the real community work. That's the memes, cults, religions. That's actually, it's playing a different game. Okay, by the way, it's the game that Bitcoin was playing. So that's why when I see this chart, okay, this is the other's chart that I posted here. Ignore FUD and hear me in the astronaut suit. Like this, this is what everyone's looking at. And yeah, I'm so happy, man. At least we did get this pump, man. At least we did get this move. Remember, the Bitcoin halvening year is that warm-up old season year. And I, I stand by all these. No matter all the news that we see, uh, the cycle's still in play. Cycle's literally still in play. Everything's still pretty much playing out the same. Um, yes, it's just the meme coin thing. That's the, it's, always, it's, always, it's always something. You know, every time, it's, it's always something. It, four years ago, it wasn't a clear cut. Oh, buy these coins and you're going to win. What do you think people's reactions were when they saw Doge do 250x and Shiba Inu do the 400x in 48 hours? They weren't saying, oh, great. Now the whole industry is doing really well. They weren't saying that. They were saying, oh, my gosh, end of times. End of times. Okay, well, they'll, I'm not joking. They were saying that. Let me show you the Doge chart, by the way, just to show you how wrong they were and how wrong they'll get it again. Doge, you put it on a weekly chart here, okay? Look at this. Doge, friends, it goes up 250x. Drops 93%, but it's still here. It's down 78%. This is stock standard. Let's put it on a log chart. Look at that. Does that look like end of times, by the way, when you put it on this perspective chart? Does this chart look like, oh, no, end of times? Look at this going up and up and up. Look at this strength. Okay. So everybody was saying it's the end. And look at that. Oh, it's funny. They're saying it's the end again about meme coins. And I have this video here. Shout out to my friend Somi from this clip. So to heal the crypto industry, meme coins must go really, really, really high. They have to go like 10 to 15% of the whole industry. Something so meme coins right now, they're about 2.5%. Let's just say 2.5%. Yeah, I think they've got to go much, much higher to heal the crypto industry. And what I'll do is got to play some nice heavy beats. The, uh, the whole, that video, the whole lesson of these friends is it's not just to be contrarian for the sake of it. It's just I can identify something and it's very, it's very clear to me. It's not clear to everybody else, okay? People see meme coins as it's memes, cults, religions, the archetype. 
They see it as, you know, end of times, like I said, it's like sewer stuff. Totally wrong, okay? They only exist because of the problem of the current cohort of product market fit attempts. That's why. So what people, what the market, so what, you know, a lot of boomers, what they're saying, well, people just don't get it, friends, just plebs, mid-curvers, everyone in the mid-curve, they think meme coins are the problem. No, 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 no. Everything else is the problem. Meme coins are the response to the problem, okay? It's a blunt force instrument. That's why, think about this, okay? If memes go to zero today, what happens to the industry? Everyone keeps scamming. That's right. VCs keep scamming. Exchanges keep scamming. Uh, all these other dead projects that are not making people feel something, they're not putting in enough effort, they are going to, so they're basically going to get uh, another chance to, to rinse retail again, okay? However, if meme coins do enormous moves up, okay? So if meme coins, friends, do this chart, if memes do this, like this is Doge, if, the, if memes do that, okay, but the DeFi poop only does that, okay? What's going to happen is if this thing is like a 30x and this garbage is like a three, okay? That number, it's so big. By the way, in my world, I would love the DeFi just to never go up. I would love them to just to never go. I love that. Not just our DeFi. I mean, like, like the, the VC projects, these layer two grifts, these parasites. I, was just, they, they just, I don't want them to go up. I want them to be down. I don't want them to ever, ever tick up. Okay, but I just I feel for the people who are holding the coins who don't know this. Yeah, I don't want them to go up because we need to send the real message, okay? Because in the next, I'm thinking about the next cycle. In the next bear market, when people come to make a project, they're going to look at this and go, oh, people came in to demand these memes, okay? And yeah, a lot of people will think, oh, that means the people are stupid. No, then they'll start to study them and learn. And they'll go, oh, what do the memes do? One, cheap price. Two, they are conducive to the cult forming. So they like the cult forming. They like mantras and chants. You see, they're not, try they're, they're not trying to do the religion stuff too early, okay? It's the starting off of the meme. So starting off low price allows the early holders to get rich, and then they are motivated and incentivized to keep yelling about it into the megaphone. And then this will onboard more people. You get it? That's pretty much, that's the whole journey. That's the whole story. That's the story of Bitcoin, by the way. That's the story of pretty much everything else. Hex went like that. Everything, they ever went up. Okay, that's what we're seeing with meme coins right now. More at super cycles, basically based off all of this, right? So all these projects that start high, so if a, if a meme coin is doing this, okay, up here, and then the, the this is just the meme, right? The meme, the meme goes like that. But then you have the other project, they just start high like this. And they can't go up. They can't go up. They have to do this over time. That's pretty much just the VC projects. VC projects here and memes here. This is the ticks. You see that? So if they don't get any demand, they have to learn. They'll have angry investors. They'll have angry holders. They'll have angry workers. Everybody will be angry. They'll be very salty. But that's how you teach them. If memes go to zero and then people have to buy that junk, the VC junk, they all get the money and they dump anyway. They're basically just extracting value from a cohort of people. They're yield farming the industry. They're yield farming, yes, because they're, they're happy to take it 2x. So if we go back to this Bitcoin dominance, if this thing goes down, it, look, I, I, want a lot of, I want a lot of sectors to pump. I want a gaming narrative to come. Hopefully, like, off the grid hits, like, I hope it hits, like, 10 billion and it makes everybody erupt with gaming because that's usually what happens when something big appears and just runs. And there's a big unicorn moving that. And then everybody starts making derivatives and more games and there's more fun. But until that moment, man, we still have to watch this ETH BTC going down. So, yeah, I do wonder what does the market look like when ETH BTC finally turns around? What does it look like? It, many people believe, which I'm going to have to push back gently in a very, very friendly way, family friendly way. A lot of people think that if SEC chairman's fired and DeFi uh, has like more re less regulation stuff that there's going to be like a DeFi real project resurgence. And I'll say no, no, because uh, there is already a long list of countries that people launch coins from that's safe, that they can do revenue sharing, okay? And it doesn't get extra mind share already. It doesn't. If it did get extra mind share, we would see it. You would you would have a doge of a of a mine share uh, of a revenue releasing coin, okay? If if a coin is making enough money to give to the holders and everyone's really really buying into that, you would see it. You're not seeing it, okay? You would have seen it last cycle, didn't happen. You would see it this cycle, didn't happen. They ain't happening. 
The mind share is, so if you are a project and you're like, hey, we're going to give revenue out, you are not doing that to make your price go up. Like you're not going to get entice more people in. You're just rewarding people. That's it. You don't get any extra mind share out there. The markets, it's, look, we live in, maybe in another parallel dimension, another universe, another timeline that gets mind share. It, that does not get mind share. Okay. It also, it's the way I explain it is rational as well. It's because everyone knows there's a, there's a certain uh, time period of the cycle and no one has your back and everything goes down 90% anyway. And it's open source, yada, yada. So that's why a lot of people, they're, they're even still stuck in these booms. They, a lot of people believe that, see, this funny meme coins have gone up, friends. As ETH BTC has gone down, memes have like gone up, strong dominance. And the, the cope narrative, if you have this if you have this narrative in your head, I've got to tell you, it's a cope one where they're saying meme coins have only gone up because of all the regulation. Okay, that that's that's the common talking point now. So I want to show you that that's, that's how everyone's in disbelief. Like, no, no, meme coins aren't strong. It's just because Gary Gensler has called everything a security. The only thing they can launch is a meme coin. No, wrong. Revenue sharing does not pump a price. That's it, okay? What pumps a price is recruiting more people into the network. That's it. Learn from Hex. That's it. Learn from Hex, friends. Handing out inflation as yield. People believe in it as much as the next guy. That's it. As, much, as long as there's a strong link... Of diehard believers, Hex is a better Bitcoin, and that's your daily reminder. I also have Donald Trump here on Joe Rogan show. I said, Richard, I'm not choosing between the two Hex. I'm going to buy both. It's exactly what he's talking about, friends. Memes. It's not just meme coins. Because people say meme coins, they think about the JPEG Pump fund swapping garbage. No, man, it, that is, it's JPEG swapping. That's why I had to reduce it to that word so we can split them up, okay? It's literally JPEG swapping, okay? That's what it is. It's like, we're well, eating dinner. There's diff completely difference, a complete difference between eating like a pack of donuts and having, you know, like a chicken breast, basically. You know what I mean? Like chicken breast and vegetables. Yeah, yeah, they're both food. Technically, they're both food. Okay, yeah, so basically, this, this JPEG is technically a crypto, but I hope you, you, hope you can uh, identify the difference now. Having some fun with the political topics as well, friends. Two days into the U.S. election, now it's just one day. Illegal immigrants, no one knows what's going on. Pet squirrels, okay, we have to make sure that we blast it. So, yeah, I did take offense, by the way, friends. This was a, I mean, was like, they're coming for me. This is also hilarious. A dead squirrel has six times our market cap. So, get used to that. Get used to that. Peanut, the dead squirrel, has flipped many crypto project valuations remarkable times. On Peanut, friends, I just want to show you this guy. Man, I can't believe it. This guy, friends. Oh, my gosh. He cheated Peanut. My God. He he put in a dollar. He sold it for a 33 cent loss. But it's now worth a thousand and eight bucks. You are disgusting, whoever you are. Whoever the hell you are, you are horrible. You are a disgusting human being. This is obviously it's on this. This is Soylana. Duh. This type of junk only happens on Soylana. Dude, you can't make this up. He literally, look at this. He bought a dollar. He told us, took a 66 cents loss. You are terrible. By the way, if you're curious. Okay. There's an actual re reason, right? He probably has a bot. He's testing a system for like a month. He's running the tests or a week. So he's just putting a dollar in the coin and he's trying to sell for it. He's trying to grow the account to see if it's, it's positive EV. That's what he's actually doing. However, this type of nerd, quant, scum, soy bankman free, Jane Street Capital, Citadel, trash doesn't belong in this part of the cycle. But oh, I, mean, I, just, I love seeing it, man. I love seeing it. They just don't get it, man. Like you have Pulse Chain, Pulse X, you have these things that they just don't get. All these nerds, these losers, they're coming in here. They think they think we're stupid for holding. They really do. They think we're they are the most judgmental of all. They are the soy boys. They are the pencil necks. They don't have nice fluffy slippers with Highland bulls on them. Okay, they don't have them all at, at all. They have disgusting brown tiny slippers. These people, most judgmental, most mid curve. They think they're better than everyone else. They're all entitled. And by the way, they ruin it for everyone else because there's so many of them. They come in, they start chipping away at all the edge. So you got to be careful of these. However, however, they don't know what to look for. They, see, they're just trying to like buy new launches. See, they're trying to buy new launch stuff. They're looking in the wrong place. They're meant to look at the existing com uh, crypto communities to see who's um, who's cheap and who is forming a meme cult religion archetype.
Last thing, friends, let's take some perspective, man. You see this little red dot? That's what's happening right now. That's Bitcoin, okay? And everyone's lost their mind here. But we know why they lost their minds, man. It's because of the altcoins, man. Because It's because of the altcoins. People want the higher growth stuff. I get it. And it's funny when the mid curve has come out, the mid curve big influence, they're like, oh, you shouldn't even be in them. You should be in the, in the uh, you should be in Bitcoin stuff. No, they're wrong. They're completely wrong. You know, they think, see, they're not friends. Don't, please don't listen to them. Just don't listen to them, okay? Like, subscribe to me. I cranky G out 4,000 videos for you. Don't listen to them. They are still thinking this market only has like 100 coins to choose from. That's what they think. They think, oh, it's easy. These 20 are scams. I can buy these. I'm going to win on my easy rotate. That's what they think. They have a, They think they're going to have an easy rotation. Wrong. They're not going to have an easy rotation, okay? That's not, you don't live in that anymore. The game got harder. You have to be in the trenches, 2023. 2024. Okay, I was in here in 2022. That's like ultra hard, difficult mode. Forget about that. No one can think straight, okay? So I don't blame you if you're not there. But last year and this year, you have to be in the trenches, man. You don't get to sit in, sit on this magical pile of all your Bitcoin and then someone brings you a list of five coins to rotate into literally starting January next year and they're all going to fly. No. No, you don't. Okay, it's not going to happen. It won't happen. You're already seeing it right now. Or It's funny. All the stuff that they're calling scams are the ones that have been going up. So already you can really see there's like there's a hole that 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 they won't plug until it's too late. So so that's the price you pay. So if you want to get ahead of the market, there is a price you pay for being early. It's watching these things bleed infinitely. However, it gives you opportunity to buy cheaper prices, you can DCA in over time, and it gives you conviction. Because if you if so, someone just handed you, hey, these meme coins are going up, and you throw it in and threw some money in and something does like a 3X in like two days, you're just out. Sweet, I made triple my money. Compare that to somebody with like a diehard meme coin super cycle thesis, right? One's just like, you know, a week's wage extra and another outcome is like lifetime retirement. And that's what we're ultimately building towards. Make sure you like, subscribe, belly button all. Catch you in the next one.